First up, let's just check that you clicked on the right video. So, I'll be showing you data where you can find out where you sit amongst other Australians in regards to both your income and your assets. And then, cross-reference this for your age. So, like and subscribe and 3 minutes of introduction music and me waffling on about nothing good, now let's start the video. So this is actually a really hard topic to research. There are articles that have information that I was looking for, but only for Americans and not Australians. So, I had to do some things like use old reports and then punch those numbers into an inflation calculator. It's not ideal, but it's better than nothing. So I found this information from the Australian Tax Office website and also the Australian Broadcasting Corporation who divided the data from the tax records to see where all the wages sit. I also found other information from UNSW from a report from 2006 in combination with the Reserve Bank of Australia's inflation calculator. So obviously, my data will have a bit of a margin of error in it, but I'm confident that this is probably one of the best yardsticks that you'd be able to find out there at the moment. So now before I go into the numbers, I have to explain a metric which I'm going to be using which is known as the medium. Now if you know the difference between a medium and an average, feel free to skip the next 40 seconds. So that you understand these statistics, I'll explain the difference between an average and a median. Say that there are 11 people, and 5 of them are earning $2, 1 is earning $3, and 5 have $9. And the total is divided by the number of the participants. The average amount of money in that group of people is $5.27. But the medium amount is when you get that group of people and you look at the 11 people and you need to find out who the middle individual person is. So when you pick them, you find that 5 people be earning more money and 5 people be earning less money. So in this example, with the 5 people earning less than a medium employee and 5 people earning more, you'd find in this example the case would be the person earning $3. So this is the reason why medium is much better than the average because of 99% of us will be earning between $20,000 to $200,000. But there is less than 1% of people out there who are earning tens of millions of dollars, and that will just really skew out the average. So the incomes will distort it, whereas the medium, that still will be a real realistic fair figure that you can compare yourself to. Anyway, here are the numbers. So the mean wage, so that's not total income, but wage for all Australians according to the ATO for the 2018-2019 financial year is... $52,732, and that's pre-tax. But let's get into details. Now I'll break it down into income age groups. And here is a summary of a pre-taxable incomes. Now note, the broken down summaries of pre-taxable incomes, not wage. So it'd be a little bit higher than that 52 for the 50th percentile. So as you can see here, if you're in the bottom 10%, you're earning $29,000 per year. Whereas if you're in the top 10%, you'll be earning $133,000 per year. And the median center percentile is $60,432. So I won't read them all out, as you can see on the screen where you'd sit. And most people watching YouTube are actually listening to YouTube and not actually watching it. So if that is you, I'm sorry, but you might have to pause and actually look at the screen to see where you actually sit. But let's just look at the 50th percentile for a second here. That means that if you're on $60,000 per year, you are right in the middle of all earning Australians. Half the population is on more than you and half is on less. But if you're on $100,000, that means only 20% of the population is earning more money than you. But also bear in mind that age is a big factor here. People in the late 40s and 50s will populate the higher percentages, whereas those starting off with their careers will more heavily populate the lower percentages. Now to find out where you sit via your age, this is very hard. Anyway, below I've listed out the averages by all the age, and I know the figure we care about is the median. And so I found the difference between the median and the average out of a total combined report and found out that the median is usually about 24% smaller than the average. And so then I applied that to the averages for early age brackets. So again, it's not super accurate, but it's the best that we can do with the data that we have. So if you're between 21 to 34, uh, my guesstimate for the mean is approximately $44,000. And if you're 45 to 54, it's $61,000. And if you're older than 55, it's $54,000. That's our income. And now let's talk about a collection of our assets. When we talk about your net worth, it is a combination of your car, your house, your super, your shares, and whatever else you could sell if you needed to. And this also includes your superannuation. So according to statistica.com, here is the layout. This is for households. So bear in mind that you can combine your numbers with your significant others to see where you sit. Or if you're living by yourself, you can just basically double the number for what you earn and that'll sort of let you know in what percentile you're sitting. Say for example, if you're in $102,000, you're in the bottom 20%. Whereas if you're worth over $1.4 million, you're probably in the top 20%. I'll give you a moment to look at the screen here and figure out where you're sitting for uh, how many assets you have and for what your age is. 
What about every Australian's individual medium net worth for given ages? And the only report I could find for this was a 2006 report by the RBS. And so what I did was I placed these figures into the RBS inflation calculator to give a guesstimate. So the below data is accurate in 2006, but reflected in today's prices with inflation. If you're under 24, uh, it'll be $22,970. And if you're 45, you'll be approximately $566,143 as median. So again, I'll let you look at the screen rather than reading everything out just to see where you sit for your net worth for your age and your household. And if you want something that's a bit more up to date than all of that, according to the Sydney Morning Herald's article, uh, which was published recently, the bottom 60% of the country owns 16% of the country's wealth, whereas the average household owns approximately $277,000. The comfortable middle class, which is the next 30% up from that 60%, owns 38% of the wealth in the country, and they own uh, $1.28 million per household. In the top 10% of Australia's wealthy, they own 46% of the country's wealth. I hope that has answered the question about how you are sitting as an Australian and both your net worth and how you're earning compared to your age bracket and what your nest egg is worth compared to your age bracket as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and go and play outside and all that other stuff. Thanks, bye.